Hey, this is Alex Vitkin from businessmetro.com. Are you thinking of becoming a software developer? Let's find out if it's the right thing for you and how to achieve this goal. So let's grab a pen and paper and let's talk about the next steps. This isn't some no effort, super fast process to get you where you want to be. You will have to put in the work. So if you're looking for some get rich quick stuff, this video isn't it. There is no quick or super fast, no effort process to make this work you will have to put in the effort. So if you're looking to get good at a skill that's super high in demand, and you're looking to get started freelancing or offering development services as a business owner, then definitely watch this video. That being said, this isn't some super technical video or super advanced software developer video or anything like that. This is for people that are looking to get started freelancing or want to build an agency or even potentially a small job. So I will be focusing primarily on the aspects of freelancing that allow you to get started, get sales and scale. Before we dive in, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification button to get more developer and contract getting tutorials. First, I'll give you the safe traditional process to become a software developer and get paid for it. Then we can discuss an alternative method that is my preferred method. So what does a software developer do and which skills does this person have? A software developer or engineer figures out users needs, designs, tests, and develops software to meet those needs. They test and upgrade applications. They help businesses automate through tools that they build. They scale applications and systems and figure out how the pieces work together. Software developers usually know several programming languages depending on the project requirements. They learn programming languages like C Sharp, Java, Swift, C++, and other software development languages. They usually build software for a specific operating system. They're also familiar with fundamental concepts of computer science. These include computer programming, computer organization, data structure, and algorithms, along with the aforementioned programming languages, computer hardware, and networking. So since software developers need to know computer science to some extent, here are the following types of math that are necessary for you to learn if you want to be a top tier software developer. Binary math, college algebra, statistics, calculus, and discrete math. I've linked to the resources in the video description on how to learn these programming languages and other skills. So you don't necessarily need to go to college to learn these. Everything can be learned online these days. Another way is to take coding boot camps, and that's specifically for coding, but you can also learn other skills in those. After you've learned these skills, or rather while you're, you're learning them, make it a habit to build tools in your spare time. As you learn, use the skills you're learning to build software. Eventually, you'll be able to do smaller projects for companies or people. So depending on location and seniority, they can get paid between 80 and $130,000. And that's like normal pay, the median is above $100,000, top 25% earners in the United States make over $130,000 per year. So these, these are normal salaries. These are not the top end or the low end salaries. However, let's talk about an alternative method to get contracts as a software developer. This method has more risk, but has way higher rewards if you do things right. It requires a different set of skills in addition to the tech skills. Let's talk about how to get clients the alternative way as a freelancer or business owner. There are already skilled software developers out there who have spent years learning to become a developer. What they don't know is how to deal with clients and how to get clients in the first place. So while you can go on freelancing platforms like Upwork and get projects as a software developer, and they can be very good, well-paid projects, as a software developer, as a freelancer, what you can also do is get a team of software developers that is better at what you're doing. And then you can focus on more of the business aspects instead of doing coding all day. So the developers you could work with, they don't want to learn these business skills and would rather code all day. What you can do is differentiate yourself from the crowd by learning business skills and communication skills. There are way more technically smart people than technically smart people with business skills out there in general. Like it's a very rare combination to have the two together. This is where you come in. If you're interested in being an entrepreneur, not just a developer who codes, what you can do is learn the fundamentals of software development and software project management, then get people on your team who can work on delivery with you and, and do the majority of the coding, if not all of it. So what you'll be doing is selling projects or the team's time at a profit. This is how every business runs 
by the way, they sell products or services at a profit. This is a good thing. That's how business works. That's everything you've ever bought works like that. What businesses want to do is not deal with developers directly. Usually they don't know how and they don't want to figure out by burning through cash. This is where you come in. You are the facilitator. You are the person who comes in and makes sure tech people have someone to talk to in terms of tech and clients have someone to talk to in terms of business needs. If you are able to connect those two needs and you can get clients, you can own a business selling software development as a service. So a skill like sales and how to speak to people in their own language and basing the conversations on what they want, what their dreams, desires, and ambitions are. This type of skill is not very hard to learn. Most people are just not willing to learn it. They don't respect that type of skill. And even if you're an introvert or whatever, and by the way, I am an introvert. I didn't even know how to shake people's hands before I learned certain skills, right? So even if you're an introvert, you can learn this. You can learn how to communicate. You can learn sales, you can learn marketing, you can learn all this, what all the stuff that a business owner needs. Essentially, you can have a team instead of doing all the coding yourself. It really depends on what where you want to go, what your ambition is also in terms of income. So clients would rather pay someone 75 to $125 an hour than to hire their own teams, train them and figure out how the tech requirements fit together and whatever, right? So clients just don't want to deal with that. This is usually superior for people who are entrepreneurial than doing projects themselves and just freelancing at an hourly rate. Basically, you can hire developers in countries where a good salary for a developer is below $25 an hour, right? 25 would be at the top end in most countries. And your clients, or rather your business's clients, get charged an agency fee, your agency fee, either an upfront multi-thousand dollar fee or multi-10 or $100,000 fee, or an hourly fee of 50 to $150 an hour or more, depending on the complexity of the projects and the programming languages and the skills required. And in return, they get all the stuff that I mentioned before. The clients pay you first, and once you are paid, your team members get paid afterwards. That way, you reduce the risk in your business. So you can figure out all of this on your own, or you can get mentored on how to do this. By the way, in the description, there's a link to interviews of people who got mentored and they got results with building an agency like this. There's also a link on how to join a mentorship program like this. So check it out in the description. So how do you get contracts anyway? Here's a short summary, but if you want a detailed process, check out the playlist in the description that gives you a whole list of instructions on what to do to get these types of projects. Okay, so step one, get an account on Upwork and leverage your skills and your team skills and previous work and expertise to get projects via your profile and send 10 proposals per day. Spend four hours per day on contacting clients and interviewing them to find the best projects and send highly personalized proposals to get work. And think about getting a mentor to shorten the learning curve uh, and get your business up and running faster to, to learn how to do all this much better. Or take it slow and start with smaller projects and build it up over a year. Build up your portfolio, build up your skill set and everything else over a year, perhaps as a side project on top of a full time job, for example. So if you enjoyed the message in this video, I would really appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up button and to help out the channel. Also leave a comment below. So now let's go to the next video in the description, which explains the step by step process on how to get leads. So go to the description and click on the link. There's a whole playlist on how Upwork works, but also there are guides for software and web developers.